and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew a stretch waistband. Here is what a stretch waistband looks like. Um, it is on a roll, you can buy it by the metre or by the yard. It is stretchy and both ends of the elastic are finished. So it's just a case of planning it onto the waistline of your sewing project and your waistband is complete. Before you apply your waistband to your garment, you first need to measure it. And in order to do that, make sure you stretch your elastic until it's comfortable around your waistline. And once you've found the area in which it's comfortable, the measurements, put a pin in. And then you need to add seam allowance onto that because this is going to be the seam line and you want to make sure you've got seam allowance. And once you've got that, you then cut. And I've got my position of my pin to where I'm actually going to sew the seam line and it is roughly uh, about an inch or 2.5 centimetres and you just do um, a straight stitch is fine show my needles down put stitches forward back stitch and then I'm just going to do a straight line down now I've sewn the seam we open up the seam and we want that to stop flapping around so you can either you've got a choice turn back a couple of millimetres and then do a hand stitching or if you wish you can just go to your machine and just do another I think I'll go for a zigzag stitch on this one The waistband is now complete. This is the right side. As you can see, I've got a red thread representing a zigzag stitch in order to keep my seam allowance neat and tidy. And this is the wrong side. This side, I did a hand sewing stitch, a slip stitch, which you can't see. So I'm just showing you the examples of what you um, can look for. When you are doing the hand stitching one, just pull the elastic slightly over your finger, like so, and then do your hand stitching. Now that is complete, the next thing to do is to get the waistline of your garment and we need to make sure that the raw edge is finished off and it could be your choice, it could be serge, overlock, zigzag, pink and shears, it's your choice. I'm just going to do a quick zigzag all the way around. In order to apply the elastic, what I'm going to be doing next is going to quarter the waistline. So I've got my centre back seam there and then I'm going to put a pin on the opposite end and then I'm going to bring my seam to meet that pin and then I'm going to put a pin on each end and then it will be quartered and the other end This will make it a lot more easier for when you come to uh, attach your elastic because my elastic is now quartered and then the case of stretching in order to make it fit. The waistline is quartered and the waistband is also quartered using pins to indicate. I'm going to get my back seam of my elastic and it's going to go onto the right side of the garment Actually, I'm going to use it this way. I want the straight edge. And you're going to fit it within the 1.5 centimetres or 5, 5 eighths of an inch and pin it in place. Now, you are working with elastic, so it's going to be a little bit tricky. And then what will happen then, I'll just show you the wrong side. You need then to stretch your elastic in order to meet your next pin and pin that into place work is going to look like. It may look a look a bit awkward and feel a little bit awkward but once you put it onto your machine it should feel a lot more comfortable. So um, work with the arm of your sewing machine, slide it on, put your feet down and your needle down and then you can start making any necessary adjustments to make sure that everything's all lined up. Pull your elastic and now you have a much more flatter surface in which to work. Now if you wish, you can put a couple more pins if you feel a lot more secure in doing that, that's fine. 
but if you've got it straight and you've got your eye on the needle and it should be okay let me just take this pin out I don't like to sew my pins do a reverse stitch doing zigzag stitch here as well so I'm working on the right side of my garment pull it straight and then just sew all the way around now we have the elastic waistband attached to the waistline of the skirt or it could be pants and this is what it looks like on the inside now you've got a bit of um, some seam allowance there what you could do is stretch and then you can actually use a hand sewing stitch in order to sew that to the elastic but that is the zigzagging stitch and if you're using the same uh, stitch th colour thread you wouldn't see that and there you have that nice even gathers in the garment the key thing to remember with a stretch waistband is that both ends are finished so you need to make sure that you're applying the waistband on top of the garment on top of your fabric and then do the zigzag stitching or whatever stitching suits your sewing project it can also be used on pants and also a circle waistline whether that's pants or again a skirt don't forget to subscribe to fashion sewing blog tv for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put me in the comment box below and i will see you next time